Hi, I'm Jasma. Let's make chocolate and Bailey's snow skin mud cakes. If this is your first time hearing about mooncakes, go ahead and watch any of the videos in my mooncake playlist where I explain what they are and their cultural significance. To get started, make the snow skin by combining its ingredients in a bowl and whisking until smooth. Don't worry if there are any lumps because we are going to strain it out by passing everything through a sieve. Now we're going to let this steam on medium heat for 20 minutes until it is solid and there's no more liquid left inside. While the snow skin is steaming, I'm going to prepare the Bailey's egg custard filling. This also needs to be steamed, so you want to prepare this so that as soon as the snow skin is done, you can swap them and get this in the pot right away. Combine all of the egg custard ingredients in a bowl, and you want to mix this for a little bit longer so that the milk powder and custard powder can all dissolve into the batter. If you want to omit the alcohol in this recipe, you can replace the Baileys with milk or light cream, but most of the actual alcohol evaporates during the steaming process for this filling. So you're kind of just left with the cream part of the Baileys and the really unique flavor that it offers for these moon cakes. And it goes very well with chocolate and desserts, so I highly recommend that you give it a try. Now that this is mixed together, you will have a bunch of lumps with the cocoa powder and the custard powder. So we're gonna pass this through a sieve. This is gonna take around 25 minutes to steam on medium heat. You can give it a mix halfway through the cooking process to redistribute the liquid, um, which is the raw parts, and it'll help cook it a little bit faster. In the meantime, I'm gonna make the chocolate center. This is sort of a cross between a fudge and a ganache. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips. If you want, you can also use dark chocolate. Um, just don't use milk chocolate because then it will be too sweet. The sweetened condensed milk gives the chocolate that fudgy texture, while the Bailey's offers that cream aspect, and altogether it gives it that ideal texture for the chocolate center. This is very simple to make. Just microwave everything together for about 30 seconds. Then once melted, mix everything together until emulsified, let it cool slightly, and then transfer into a container and pop it into the freezer for it to become super cold until it is ready to be portioned. If you're interested in making these yourself, go ahead and grab the recipe from my blog, jasmafusioncuisine.com, where the recipe is fully written out and it also has photo references for each step. At this point, your snow skin should have been cooked and cooled. We're going to knead it until it is smooth and uniform in texture. If it's too sticky, you can use a rubber spatula to do this, but I let my dough cool for quite a while so it wasn't sticky at all. Wrap this up in plastic wrap and let it chill for at least three hours. Then for the egg custard filling, it should also be cooked and cooled, and I'm going to knead it with a rubber spatula until it is also smooth and uniform in texture. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and portion out the filling to 25 grams each. If the filling is too soft to work with, you can refrigerate it before portioning, but I find that it's more convenient to do this step now and then let the filling join the snow skin in the fridge. Keep in mind that snow skin mooncakes require a lot of refrigeration and there's a lot of downtime involved in the process of making these. So you can prepare the snow skin and the filling the night before, let it chill and then assemble everything the next day. To begin assembly, I'm going to first portion out the chocolate center. Working with chocolate can always get a little bit messy, so I have two spoons here and I lined my scale with plastic wrap so it doesn't stick to it. After it's time in the freezer, the chocolate should be stiff enough to scoop like this, and if at any point it becomes too messy and sticky to work with, just pop it back into the freezer. After portioning each piece, roll the chocolate between your hands really quickly and then coat it fully in the chopped roasted pistachios. This can get messy, so wash your hands frequently, then pop it into a container and then back into the freezer while we portion out the snow skin. The snow skin should be stiff enough at this point for you to cut without it sticking to you. And once you're done, roll it in some cooked glutinous rice flour so it doesn't stick. Reference any of my old videos on how to make this. Then once you have your snow skin, the egg custard filling, and chocolate center all portioned out, we can begin assembly. First, take a piece of egg custard filling and soften it up slightly between your palms. Create a bit of a well for the chocolate center to go into, and then slowly push the egg custard around the chocolate center to seal it up, making sure there are no air bubbles stuck inside. Then comes the snow skin, which you want to flatten until around twice the size as the filling. 
Place the filling on top of the snow skin, flip it over, and then seal everything, making sure there are no air bubbles stuck between the two. And once everything's closed up, roll it between your palms to ensure there are no seams. Toss this in some more glutinous rice flour and dust off any excess. Briefly roll this between your hands to form a cylinder so that your mooncake mold can fit over it without scraping the sides. Then just firmly press down on the mold to stamp on the design and gently release it. If the cooked glutinous rice flour against the chocolate bothers you, you can just take a pastry brush and dust off any excess. As a finishing touch, I'm gonna paint on some gold. This is completely unnecessary and I'm fully aware of that, but if you had gold luster dust on hand, you too would find an excuse to paint it on anything. All this is is edible gold luster dust mixed with some clear almond extract. You can use any sort of clear alcohol because once you activate the gold luster dust and turn it into a paint and you paint it onto your mooncakes, the alcohol will evaporate and allow it to dry and everything will stay in place and I'm using a paintbrush that I only use for food. The key is to not dip too much of that gold paint and you wanna very lightly brush it against just the tip of the design so that it doesn't flood the entire surface of the mooncake. Once complete, I recommend chilling these mooncakes before consuming it for the best texture and they can stay good in the fridge for about three days before the snow skin begins drying out. So be sure to keep it in a really airtight container and consume as quickly as you can. Check out all the links in the description box, and thanks for watching!